invited Kay Fong to join us today. Uh, Kay was an instructor for our um, psychology of aging class that was offered this spring and did a great workshop. Um, not only did she help organize speakers, but she um, did a, work, a workshop that people applauded and said it was just fantastic. And I was thinking about a way to sort of supplement this kind of boring annual meeting with something interesting and send you off for the summer um, since we're not offering academic classes over the summer. So um, uh, Kay and I met uh, this spring and I said, why don't you join us and come do a little workshop for us. Um, Kay is a certified uh, dementia specialist. Um, so she helps people that are experiencing dementia and also teaches strategies on how to keep your brain active. So it's a, a subject we all can benefit from. Welcome. Good morning and welcome to Engaging Your Brain, the importance of cognitive training and socialization. Um, I'm Kay, the Certified Dementia Practitioner, and let's start with some basic facts. Um, the NIH states that cognitive ability can be divided into specific domains, processing speed, attention, memory, language, spatial perceptions, and executive functioning. Also, certain activities will help with um, preventing cognitive decline and dementia. So those activities associated with high cognitive function, um, as, such as joining Encore Learning, <laughs> doing puzzles, reading, complex games, uh, definitely physical activities such as gardening, exercise, and dancing. But I really wanna focus on social engagement because as I speak to older adults, this, especially during the pandemic, this is what's missing um, in all of their lives, uh, travel, cultural events, and socializing. So recently, the Surgeon General discussed the dangers of social isolation for older adults with a 29% increased risk of heart disease, 32% increased risk of stroke, 50% increased risk of doing of uh, developing dementia, and 60% increased risk of premature death. So we know two things that the brain needs. The brain needs to learn something new all the time, and it needs socialization, both those things. Uh, so as I said before, during the pandemic, we saw an increased rate of people diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment and dementia. So socialization is incredibly important for keeping your brain healthy. So we know that as we get older, we tend to lose, not gain more social connections. Making friends as kids versus adults is very different. It's easy to say that we must put effort into friendships and get out of our comfort zone However, that isn't possible if we don't have the right environment or opportunity. No one is really against making new friends, but where do you have the opportunity to do so? So we need to focus on cultivating a culture of social connection. Um, I would like to create two clubs, uh, Explore Virginia Club, where we visit famous landmarks and scenic parks and do hikes and enjoy culturally diverse foods and discuss it. So we're introducing something new and socializing and explore seasonal fairs and events. And by the way, this picture you see at the bottom, it isn't a random photo. This is the farmer's market at Greeland, just half an hour from here. And it's absolutely beautiful there. This is their recent spring photo. Also, we need a social brain club where we play complex and competitive games in teams. So we're gonna get a little bit, a, a taste of that in this presentation. So let's train the brain. Right now, ask yourself, take a moment and how mentally alert do you feel right now? Maybe rate yourself between one and five or say, I feel pretty good, I feel pretty alert. I have had my coffee. So let's start a warm up for the brain. 
here, find the difference between two pictures. You have 45 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds. And here is the answer. Oops, sorry everyone. There. Okay, so this exercise wasn't about right or wrong or how many that you get. We're, we're just basically warming up the brain a little bit. Okay. Now we're still in warm up uh, phase. So let's play high school reunion. If everyone came to, um, if some of you came to my presentation, you'll remember that we played this game and it's great for memory. So what I'm going to do is give you a picture of a young celebrity and you give me their name in chat or you can unmute yourself. So I'm gonna give you a picture of a young celebrity and then a picture in their youth actually. Okay, let's start. Who is this gentleman? Johnny Depp. Very good, yes. That is Johnny Depp. Next. This lovely lady. Yes, very good, Miley Cyrus. This interesting looking gentleman, anyone? Okay, you need a hint. He's a rapper. Very, very popular, mid to late 90s. Anyone? Yes. Again, Elisa. <laughs> Eminem, yes. There he is. Okay. All right, I will give you a title of one of her songs. Pat Benatar, no, but that's a good guess. She looks very similar at this age. Um, like a Virgin. Madonna? Yes, Madonna, very good. There she is. Okay. Renee Zellweger. No, that's a good guess. She does look like Renee Zellweger. She's a singer, very young, still in her 20s. Taylor Swift. Yes, Nancy. Very, very good. There she is. Okay, just a few more. This handsome gentleman. Bill Murphy. <laughs> it's actually Bill Murray. Tom, very, very good though, got that, there he is. This young gentleman. Okay, he's an actor. Ryan Reynolds. Yes, Ryan Reynolds. And here's our last picture. Comedian, oh. actor, 
In one movie, he had a very green face. Jim Carrey, yes, very good. Okay, so we're now going to the main event. And this is where we're really going to work out your brain. Um, a lot of these exercises are such as neuroplasticity exercises that we would do is probably best in person. So for virtually, we'll do the best that we can. And we're going to go to a trivia quiz. Again, it says type answers into chat, but feel free to unmute yourself and give me the answers. All right, here we go. Who bailed France out of defeat in both world wars? United States. Yes, very good. Oops. Hold on a second. There we go. Correct. Which country is biggest by land area? Russia. 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 <laughs> In what year was the iPhone introduced? 1994. Incorrect. 2006. Very close. <laughs> 2007. 2007. <laughs> okay, I see what you're going to do here. Very close, yes. 2007. Okay, what was the term for a person who wanted to end slavery in the United States? Abolitionist. Abolitionist. Very good. Where was Shakespeare born? Stratford on Stratford Avon. On Avon. Yes. Who lived in 221 B Baker Street? Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. I promise it will get more difficult. <laughs> what is the name of the ghost? in the girls' bathroom in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Molly Murray. Yes. What kind of pants was Jake from State Farm wearing? Jackie. <laughs> yes. What movie did Kevin Klein win an Oscar for? Pirates of Penzance. No, but that's, that's a really good guess. What movie did Kevin Klein win an Oscar for? Fish called Wanda? <laughs> yes. Yes, a fish called Wanda. Which continent has more countries? Africa. 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 Yes. <laughs> what year did the Titanic sink? 1912. Yes. Henry VIII created his own church so he could divorce which wife? Catherine of Aragon. Catherine of Aragon. <laughs> yes. In Greek mythology, how was Achilles heel injured? With an arrow? Yes. Arrow. Lawrence of Arabia worked for what secret service? The British. Bye. Yes, British Secret Service. He started in 1096 and continued until the 14th century. What are we talking hey. about? Crusades. <laughs> What is the family name of the ruling dynasty of Monaco? Rainier. Rainier. Grimaldi. Grimaldi, yes. Grimaldi. Very, very good. What does plutocracy mean? Ruled by the wealthy. Absolutely. What is the mascot used by the American government to promote the preservation of forests? Smoke the bear. <laughs> designed by an Arlingtonian. An Arlingtonian really? Artist. Yes. <sighs> Only an encore learning. <laughs> what is the name of Prince William's son? George. <laughs> George, yes. What kind of material? What kind of material was the Declaration of Independence made of? Parchment. No, that is not correct. What kind Sheep of material? Skin? Sorry? Sheepskin? No, that's a very good guess, though. Papyrus? No. <laughs> what no. is it? No. Vellum. Um. Yeah. 
What was the mess? What was the weapon most used by pirates? Broadsword. Swords, yeah. Okay, another name for swords. Saber. Saber. Yes. yes. Saber. Where is tomato originally from? South America. Peru. South America. Yeah. Where in South America? Mm. Peru. Nope, not Peru. Argentina. Brazil. Nope. Nope. Ecuador. Ecuador. Nope. <laughs> Colombia, Venezuela, British Guiana. What? Keep going up. Mexico. <laughs> Keep going up the coast. Yes, Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> Very good. That's Latin America, not South America. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Sorry. Which British prime minister won a Nobel Prize for literature? Churchill. 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 Yes. <laughs> Which two countries reunited in 1976 after 22 years of separation? East and West Germany. Nope. 22 years. 1976. Asian country? Vietnam. Oh, North, North and North South Vietnam. Vietnam. Yes. Oh. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Who controlled England before the Norman invasion in 1066? Saxons. Sorry? Saxons? Saxons, yes. Who created the lime production to increase productivity? Ford. 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 Yes. Yeah. Who is the historical inspiration for the character Dracula? Vlad the Impaler. Very good. <laughs> Who is Britain's longest reigning monarch? Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth II. II. Okay, it's not Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Queen Victoria. 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 Yes, Queen Victoria. No, it's Queen Elizabeth. It is Queen Elizabeth. Julio adapted the song. You're wrong. Sorry? <laughs> it is Queen Elizabeth. It's yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth II. It is Queen Victoria as reigning monarch. Okay. Julio adapted the song by Stevie Wonder. Last Time Paradise, and made another song titled? Different age co cohort. Too, too young for me. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> okay. Um, it was the title song for the movie with Michelle Pfeiffer. Which is of Eastwick? No, that's a good guess, though. She played a teacher. Up the down staircase. Nope, that's another good guess. It isn't. <laughs> to Sir with Love. Thanks to <laughs> Paradise. Oh, oh, of course. Right. <laughs> okay. In the oh, title of a Stevie Wonder hit, he just called to say, I love you. I love, love you. you. Very good. What famous singer is rapper Jay-Z married? Beyonce. Yes. What band recorded the album Pulse? The Glenn Miller Orchestra. Meeting <laughs> <laughs> Gritty Dirt Band. You were listening to a very different album. <laughs> okay. Think 70s, 80s. Rolling Stones. Very good guess. Contemporaries. Herman Hermits. <laughs> the Beatles. Floyd is in their name. In their Floyd. 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 Yes. Floyd. yes. What color is the Little Mermaid's tail? Green. Very good. What color does gold leaf appear if you hold it up to the light? Black. Gold. Nope. Black. Black. No. Blue. Silver. No. Gold. 
<laughs> White. Okay. Just go through all the primary colors. <laughs> Red, yellow, blue. Yeah. It's springtime, so everything is green. green. Yes. <laughs> Clearly, we don't have much gold leaf. <laughs> okay, it's going to get more difficult from here. So, really? Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie co-created which operating system? DOS. No. Unix? No, it was green. Mm. Oh, you were right. It was Unix. <laughs> <laughs> you were absolutely right. It was Unix. I was just joking. Okay. I've never what? seen gold leaf turn green. I did not create these quizzes. I they were just <laughs> available. So that's something uh, that could be a, a test sometime. What do Shania Twain, Nelly Furtado, and Alanis Morissette have in common? They sing. Sing singers. What I've never heard of any of them. Okay, can you? <laughs> sorry, everyone was speaking at the same time. Can can you repeat it? They're singers and from Canada. Yes, all Canadian singers. What was the first movie to be rated PG-13? Peyton Place. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first title of the movie is Red. Red Dawn? Yes. Wow. What year was that? I don't know when Red Dawn. Can that someone Google? Movie? That, I believe it was the 80s. I remember 1984. Okay. Who was the first person to just suggest daylight savings time? Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. Very good. Bad idea, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> what geothermal Icelandic site has the same name as a 1980 movie? Reykjavik? Very good. No. Geothermal Icelandic site. Blue Lagoon. Yes. Oh, my Very gosh. Very good. Among land animals, what species has the largest eyes? Elephants. Owls. All good guesses. Nope. Land animals. Whales. Oh, giraffe. Uh, another good guess. Keep going. Hippopotamus. Has wings, but it's a land animal. Doesn't fly. Two very long legs. Ostrich. Yes. Wow. Humphrey Bogart won his only Oscar for what motion picture? African Queen. Yes. What comedy? Became the first film directed by a woman to gross over a hundred million at the box office. Bridesmaids? Nope. Earlier than that. When Harry met Sally? Oh, around that time. A little earlier than that. All right. Was it directed by Nora Ephron? I'm not tell you but it's one syllable and it's the opposite of small big yes very good in 1612 who became the first person to observe the planet neptune Galileo. Galileo. Ah, that was too easy for you <laughs> in the gilded age who was called the witch of wall street she apparently only wore black and left behind a fortune of a hundred million. Mrs. Roosevelt. <laughs> Her first name is Hetty. Lamar. She, no, that can't be right. The Gilded Age, that's 1880. Mm -hmm. And her last name, We've already answered three times in this trivia trivia quiz. 
one syllable. It's a color. Green. Green. Yes, Hetty Green. Never heard of her. <laughs> oh, look her up. She's fascinating. Okay. What are a group of hippos referred to as? Pod. Sorry? A pod. Nope, that's very close. Did you say a pod? P-O-D? Yes. Okay, no. Think of their round shape. And what, what, what could cause you to have a round shape? Obesity. <laughs> yes. Wow. Also, if you have gas trapped in your intestines, you're also... A bloat. Bloated. Bloat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have two minutes left. So, what is the only king in a deck of cards without a mustache? <laughs> well, hearts, one out of four chances. King of hearts, ah. yes. <laughs> How long is a jiffy? A second and a half. Nope. <laughs> Think less. One trillionth of a second. <laughs> Who was the first time make magazine man of the year? Lindbergh. Lindbergh. Yes. What is a little dot above a lowercase I or J called? A little dot. The <laughs> little dot. No, it's not called a little dot. <laughs> a jot. Nope, that's a good guess though. A tittle. Similar to title. Tittle. tittle. Yes. Very so good. good you. I didn't think anyone was going to get that one. <laughs> okay. What are the two stone lions names in front of the New York Public Library? Tom and Jerry. <laughs> anyone else? Romulus and Remus. Oh, that's a very good guess. Ben and Jerry. The first name is Patience and, and virtue. Prudence. Fortitude. Patience and Fortitude. Wow. Very good. Okay, so now, how mentally alert do you feel? Is it more than when we started? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So. Here we're at an end. Okay. Thank you so much. Let me stop sharing and just give you final notes. So doing that, if you think about doing it in a team and competitive, we have socialization and new learning and discussions, and it, it's a great way to keep the brain active. Thank you for having me.